Welcome to this two-part series on writing academic research papers. In part one, we describe the process of writing these kinds of papers, and in part two, we compare and contrast two different kinds of research papers you might be asked to write. Writing a research paper requires you to read, analyze, compare, and contrast previously published material from a variety of sources, and then to draw on what you have learned to come to specific conclusions about your topic. The first step is to break down the research and writing process into steps and make a schedule to help you stay on track. Be sure to leave enough time at the end of the schedule to review and revise your paper. The assignment calculator on the library website can help you plan out the process, and you can find a link to this in the description below. The next step is to decide on a topic and a research question. Your paper's topic is the thing it is about. Your research question is something about that topic you'd like to find out. Sometimes your course instructor will assign a topic and a question for you to answer or provide you with a list of choices. At other times, however, the choice of question or topic will be up to you, so it is worth talking about how to choose a topic. In general, it is always a good idea to choose a topic that 1. is relevant to the course material and 2. holds your interest. You'll be spending a lot of time learning about this topic, so you want to make sure it is something that both you and the person marking your work will think is a good use of your time. To figure out what you want to write about, have another look at your course readings and lecture notes. Look for places where you had a question or a point that seemed not to make sense to you. Is there a topic you wanted to know more about? Write down these ideas and questions and refine them as you do your research. Now it's time to research your topic. Draw keywords from your research questions and search the Novanet catalog and online databases for scholarly sources. Consult a research librarian for help using the system. If you have trouble finding enough sources, try broadening your research question. If you find too many sources, try narrowing your question. Research librarians and writing center tutors can help you with this process. It is worth noting that you will need to review many more sources than will be cited in your final paper. Your goal should be to completely understand what has been written on your topic, and to provide as complete an answer as possible to your research question. For this reason, it is important to carefully evaluate your sources. To see if a source is relevant to your research question, read over the abstract, the section headings, and the introduction and conclusion. If the source seems to be relevant, read it over carefully and take careful notes about how you might use it. You should also keep track of the citation information related to each source. Using a citation manager can be helpful in these circumstances, and you can find the link to our citation management subject guide in the description below. As you read more and more sources, you may find that your research question changes, becoming narrower as you focus on a specific topic or broadens as you look for more relevant sources. This is a normal part of the research project and means that your research is affecting how you think about the topic. Once you feel like you've covered every angle of what has been published on a topic, now is the time to write your paper. One way of getting started is to create an outline. If you are writing an argumentative paper, you will need thesis statements and sections for each stage of your argument. If you are writing a review paper, you will need a clear statement of your research question, as well as sections summarizing the main themes present in the literature, as well as the main lessons you wish to draw. Use your research notes to fill in the sections of your outline. This will produce your first draft. This draft will likely make sense to you, but it may not make as much sense to other readers. As you revise, your goal is to make sure everything you have written makes sense to someone who has a general understanding of the topic, but who may need the details to be filled in. For help revising your paper, consider booking an appointment with a Writing Center tutor using the link found in the description below. As you revise, start by asking yourself if the paper addresses the assignment guidelines and whether it has a clear topic for review papers or a clear thesis for argumentative papers. Then look to see if the clarity and flow of the paper can be improved by, for example, reordering sentences and paragraphs or by including appropriate transition words and phrases. Then make sure that your cited material, including paraphrases and direct quotations, have been properly integrated into your writing. Finally, read over your draft carefully to check for any grammar, spelling, or formatting errors. 
For this final proofread, it can be helpful to read the paper aloud or even backwards, sentence by sentence, so that you can better see what is actually on the page. This is a basic process for writing a research paper. Of course, the precise process you will follow depends on the kind of research paper you have been asked to write. In part two of this video series, we'll compare and contrast two kinds of research paper, argumentative papers and review papers, and discuss strategies for writing them. Thanks for watching. For subject guides, live help, other online tutorials, and contact information for the five Dalhousie libraries, check out the links in the description below.